Catherine goes on a shopping spree at the supermarket, spending up to $5,000. She calmly pulled out a stack of coupons. She swiped them for two hours. At the end of the day, even the supermarket had to pay him $20 back. There's only one word to describe this. Horrible. In order to accumulate more coupons, she buys a lot of newspapers every day at low prices just to cut out the free coupons on them, even the toothpaste containers in the trash. And so it goes, except for the house and her husband which were not bought with coupons. Everything else in the house was coupon gathered. But the other day, as Catherine ate her crisps, suddenly she felt something was wrong with the taste. When she looked closely, she saw that the chips had expired. So she immediately sent an email to the company complaining. She received a letter of apology and a free voucher that afternoon. Catherine went back to the supermarket. At the checkout, the cashier told her, these businesses don't waste time reading complaint letters. So whenever they get a complaint, they would always offer a few coupons to compensate their customers. Little did the cashier know that this statement would change Catherine's life forever. When she returned home, Catherine immediately started writing complaint letters to the merchants. And sure enough, within a few days, she had received hundreds of coupons. Her friend was stunned to see this. She thought if she could sell all these coupons at half price, I'm sure she'd make a fortune. But she couldn't just keep writing letters of complaint. So they went straight to the company that printed the coupons, where they recruited an in-house employee. From this man, they learned that this company often prints extra coupons, and the ones they don't use are destroyed, and no one would check them. All the man had to do was sneak the coupons out, and then hand them over to Catherine, and that's how they got rich. Their lay and friends buy a private jet in one day, paying full price for five sports cars in three days. They became multi-millionaires in a short space of time, and the secret to their wealth was a stack of supermarket coupons. Her friend first set up a simple website, then she worked with the staff who produced the coupons. They smuggled out the overproduced coupons and sent them by international mail, and then sell them live online. Catherine runs the platform. In a matter of days, countless people were attracted to the coupons. Their work is clearly divided, and they are enthusiastic. The orders easily reached four figures a day, but it wasn't long before the heads of the major supermarkets noticed the proliferation of coupons because they only sent out a limited number of 2,000, but they ended up taking back over 20,000. This brought tears to the head's eyes, so he approached the customers of the coupons and asked them. He then followed the trail and found the address of the website and froze the online account when the two men withdrew their cash. This caused the two men to panic instantly. In order to keep the business empire they had built, the two men rushed to the top hacker to solve their problem. The hacker first reprimanded the two men for their stupidity. Then she began her first aid measures. She first deleted all the videos they had been streaming online, and then hid the website's IP address. After the account balance was unfrozen, the hacker deposited the money into various banks. Once this was done, the hacker demanded 10% of the profits from the two men. With the help of the beautiful hacker, the two men became even more reckless. They started using fake identities to make money, in no time at all. They were making a fortune, but the defeated supermarket manager didn't give up. He told his police friend about the coupons. The friend sent an old agent to work with him. Soon six months had passed. Catherine's business grew bigger and bigger, but with more and more assets, the two men began to, worried that the police would investigate, so they thought of a case from a movie. They split up and went to a dozen banks in quick succession to withdraw $10 million in cash. Then they went on a spending spree to buy a lot of assets. They then resold them, thinking they could cleanse the money, but the hacker's comment left them in a daze.